Let us solve a question on how to find out the equilibrium level of income from the data of an economy. The question is, for an economy, it is being given that C is equal to 200 plus 0 0.8 Y subscript D. C is the consumption function. Y subscript D denotes the disposable income. That is the income which is left after paying the tax. T denotes the marginal tax rate which is equal to 0 0.25. That is 25% is the tax rate. Investment is equal to 700 minus 50i. Government expenditure is autonomous, which is here 800. Demand for money is equal to 0 0.25 times y minus 62.5i. Um, real money supply is equal to 500. We have to find out the equilibrium level of income for this economy. Options are being given. We need to find out the correct option here. Okay. So first thing is we are being given consumption function, marginal tax rate, investment function and government expenditure. Also, we are being given the demand for money and supply for money. That means we need to find out the IS and LM equations first. Okay. So, what does IS equation tell us or IS curve tell us that? It shows us the goods market, goods market equilibrium. Goods market So we are supposed firstly to find out the IS curve. So IS curve shows us the goods market equilibrium and goods market is in equilibrium when our total income is equal to total expenditure that is Y is equal to the consumption expenditure plus the investment expenditure plus the government spending. Okay. We are being given the data here that is our total income will be equal to consumption function is being given as is 200 plus 0 0.8 y subscript d plus investment function is also being given as is 700 minus 50i and government expenditure is being given as is 800 now next thing will be let us solve it further so our total income will be equal to 200 200 plus 0 0.8 what is y d y d minus y minus t y so let's write it y minus t y that is disposable income is equal to the total income minus the tax paid on that very income then we have 700 minus 50 i plus 800 okay so let's add this so we have 200 700 and 800 so let's get now so this other so we get here y will be equal to so it is here so 7 plus 2 is 9 9 plus 8 is 17 so we write it here 1700 uh, plus 0 0.8 y minus the tax rate is here 0 0.25 y then we have minus 50 times i i denotes the rate of interest so solving further this so we have y will be equal to 1700 plus 0 0.8 y minus 0 0.25 y it will be equal to Mm, 0 0.75 okay 0 0.75 y then we have minus 50 i here okay now 0.8 into 0 0.75 it comes out to be so let's write it here so y will be equal to 1700 um, plus 8 fives are 40 or set is chapan shared so we get here 60 then we have one, two, and three, uh, you know, digits right to the decimal place. So we have one, two, and three. Okay, so we get 0 0.6 here. So let us rub this out. So 0 0.6y minus 50i. Okay, next thing is what will we do? We plug this 0.6y to LHS. That is our y 
minus 0 0.6y will be equal to 1700 1700 minus 50i so subtracting 0.6y from y we get 0 0.4y will be equal to 1700 minus 50i which implies and let's write it here now 0 0.4 can be written as 4 upon 10 which is equal to 2 upon 5 okay so we have 2 upon 5 y is equal to 1700 minus 50 i here or y will be equal to 1700 transposing it will get multiplied but reciprocated so 5 upon 2 it will become here then we have minus 50 i times 5 upon 2 so let us do the calculation here what will we get um, so we have 1700 um, divided by 2 so this is 2 8s are 16 at 2 5s are 10 so 850 into 5 so 5 zero are 0 5 five are 25 5 8s are 40 41 42 so we get 4 2 5 oh, here so y will be equal to 4 2 5 o oh, minus 5 5 is a 25 here 250 divided by 2 it becomes 125 i okay this is our i s equation i hope i am doing the calculation right here so what exactly does the i screw tell us so okay i am within the limit so i screw shows us let us denote the rate of income on the horizontal axis and interest rate on the vertical axis i screw shows us different combinations of income and rate of interest where the goods market is in equilibrium okay it is sloping downwards because there is negative relationship between income and rate of interest so let us denote this as our is equation now we need to find out the lm equation that is money market equilibrium for that let me write it here so we need to find out the lm equation now lm equation or lm curve it shows us the money market equilibrium money market market equilibrium and when does the money market is in equilibrium money market is in equilibrium when demand for money demand for money is equal to supply for money supply for money and what is that is money demand should be equal to the money supply and what is demand for money it is being denoted by l here okay that means our l should be equal to so we have the real money supply m upon p now this demand for money is being given us is here 0 0.25 y should be equal to um, rather 0 0.25 y minus 62 point 62.5 i and what exactly does this tell us it simply shows demand for money is a positive function of income and negative function of rate of income that is demand for money will increase if the income increases and demand for money will increase if the rate of interest decreases okay so there is negative relationship between demand for money and rate of interest here and it should be equal to our money supply which is exogenous here which is being given us 800 here okay now we need to solve this equation for y so 0.25 is 1 upon 4 so i can write 1 upon 4 y minus 62.5 let me write it here 60 625 divided by 10 so 5 is at the 10th place so we divide by 10 i should be equal to 800 or 1 upon 4 
y will be equal to 800 mm, 800 minus this 62 625 upon 10 times i multiplying both sides by 4 so here we do multiply by 4 here we multiply by 4 and here we also multiply by 4 to get rid of this uh, 4 here okay that means our income will be equal to 4 are 32 here 30 200 here then we have um, sorry for the mistake we have the demand for money is equal to 500 so rather the money supply is 500 so we have here 500 then this will be 500 and here also we have 500 so five fours are 20 so we have 2000 minus uh, here five twos are 10 5 1s are 5 at the arc 5 2s are 10 again so 2 are left so this becomes 5 5 are 25 then again 2 1s are 2 2 2s are 4 125 times 2 it comes out to be swad swad gay die so this is 250 i okay so what exactly is this y is equal to my mistake here when i transpose it here it will become plus okay plus so we have 2000 plus 250 i okay this is our lm equation what exactly does lm equation tell us it simply shows us the relationship between income and rate of interest where the money market is in equilibrium and if i draw a simple graph here so we have the level of income or GDP on the horizontal axis and rate of interest on vertical axis. Here you can see that there is positive relationship between income and rate of interest. So um, our LM equation will be upward sloping. This is our LM equation. Okay. This was downward sloping because there was negative relationship between rate of interest and level of income okay so lm equation shows us the locus of point so are different combinations of rate of interest and level of income where money market is in equilibrium next thing is mm, now simultaneous equilibrium requires that is should be equal to ln okay at equilibrium uh, this condition must hold okay so let us say this is equation first this is equation second here y is equal to this stuff y is equal to this stuff lhs is same we can equate the rhs it is that uh, it is like this if y is equal to a and y is equal to b can we say that a is equal to b we can say okay so it implies here this relationship because y is equal to this stuff y is equal to this stuff so this stuff is equal to that stuff okay that means uh, we have this 4 to 5 naught minus 125 i should be equal to this stuff 2000 2000 minus 250 i okay again i am doing some crazy mistake so it is plus here okay now let us transpose this here and this there so 4250 minus 2000 this comes out to be 2250 okay because it will get subtracted or let me add on this stuff also to make it boring so we have 4 to 5 0 transposing this it here it will become negative 2000 and here we have 250 i is equal to rather 
transposing this minus it will become plus 125i okay <coughs> subtracting this we get 2 to 5 naught is equal to kodago these are the like terms we can add up them up so panjigo panjai panjigai sat zutagai kare idra purushan dar kare so i will be equal to dividing both sides by 375 so or transposing this it will get divided 2 to 5 0 divided by 375 okay let's do this calculation here so both are divisible by 5 2250 divided by 375 okay so let's do this so we have two and gas city behead 2250 divided by 375 so 5 7 is 35 plus 5 5 is 25 here we will get 5 4 is 20 5 4 is 20 at this video is 5 5 is 25 5 0 is 0 so we get 450 divided by 75 can we reduce it yes both are divisible by 5 here so both are divisible by 3 and 5 that means 3 and 5 are the co-prime numbers the product of co-prime number is also the factor then can we divide it by 15 so 15 15 15 3 is 45 15 0 is 3 divided by 5 5 6 is 30 okay so we get it equal to 6 so rate of interest is 6 we get the rate of interest is 6 since we have to find out the equilibrium level of income we plug the value of equilibrium level of interest rate into either in the i equation or lm equation let's plug the value of i is equal to 6 into the lm equation that gives us y will be equal to 2000 plus 250 times the value of i is 6 here so y will be equal to 2000 plus 6 5 are, sorry 6 0 are 0 6 5 are 30 6 2 are 12 13 14 to panda so the equilibrium level of income will be equal to this go panda this comes out to be 3500 zero, zero, okay so the equilibrium level of income in this economy will be equal to 3500 let us see if we have yes we have the correct answer here okay so the option b should be correct i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you